Hey guys, Cassie Crew 4 here today with another video. What's my favorite Scooby-Doo movie ask? Well, if you're interested, stay tuned as we count down the Lovable Hound's top 10 Scooby-Doo movies. And oh boy, there sure is a lot. Number 10, Scooby-Doo Kiss Rock and Roll Mystery. I'm not even that huge of a fan of the band Kiss, but that doesn't mean them teaming up with the Scooby Gang wouldn't be cool. Oh, and oh boy, it sure was. I think a lot of Scooby fans anticipated a film such as this, but they just didn't know how it would work. I mean, in a way, Kiss is the bigger star in the Scooby film than the actual game themselves. I mean, come on, Kiss being star rock gods? That's a little too much. But needless to say, this definitely deserves a spot on my list, and I give this film solid Eight killer kiss songs out of ten. Number nine, Scooby Doo and the Samurai Sword. With the coming decades of Scooby Doo films coming out yearly, it's hard to tell which ones are going to be bad and which are going to be good. Certainly, Samurai Sword didn't disappoint. With an interesting plot and villain, ninja robots, and kung fu samurais, Shaggy and Scooby, I give this 7 awesome kung fu fight scenes out of 10. Number 8, Scooby Doo and the Ghoul School. While this certainly wasn't the best Scooby Doo film, it definitely wasn't the worst. Seeing all of the classic movie monsters, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, and many more's children all in the same place provided an interesting and quite entertaining show. Plus, who knew Shaggy and Scooby could be such great gym teachers when they pretty much eat twice their body weight each day? Needless to say, in conclusion, I give Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School a solid 7.5 werewolf howls out of 10. Number 7, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico. Come on, Scooby-Doo traveling to Mexico? I already love the movie. With the original cast in the film, what's not to love? This movie was fun, original, and downright hilarious. I know Big Fuzz has been portrayed in Chill Out Scooby-Doo, but I personally prefer this version better. I think this definitely deserves, like, 8.5 zoinks, containers of salsa. Number 6, Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Vampire. The fact that Velma, out of all people, Velma sings in this movie the Scooby-Doo Where Are You theme song is enough to get me hooked. Also, it's hilarious to try and see the gang come into a band, which little known fact, the original concept from the original television show, Scooby-Doo Where Are You, intended the gang to be in a band. So it's pretty interesting to see them give credit to that in this film, and of course this movie features the highly anticipated Return of the Hex Girls, which I think the timing was perfect. They didn't bring them back too early in the films, but they didn't bring them back too late either. So, I think this film definitely earns a place of 9 fantastic Hex Girl songs out of 10. Cue the music. Coming in at number 5 is Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. Speaking of the Hex Girls, we can't leave their debut movie, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, off of the list. This movie has the brilliant voice talent of Scott Innes playing Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, which felt like meeting a familiar friend, but at the same time was a breath of fresh air. The story was great, and man did Tim Curry put on a spectacular show as Ben Ravencroft. It's also well to note that, that's right, Billy Ray Cyrus performs the Scooby-Doo Where Are You theme song in this film, and he actually does a decent job. So without a doubt, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost deserves a 9 wicked spells out of 10. Now just listen to that great music. You feel the fog is a cloud in your mind. You get dizzy when I make the sign. You wake up in the dead of night. Copyright intended. Let's move on. 
Number 4. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. It's Scooby-Doo in a video game. What else needs to be said? You know, although the mystery wasn't really that hard to figure out, the fact that Scooby-Doo and the gang meet their cyber counterparts more than made up for it. I mean, come on, their reactions were priceless. Fred went, works for me, with his ascot, even though he doesn't wear it anymore. Daphne mocked herself on the way she dressed back in the 60s, and Velma just said, You're from the real world, and you're from the cyber world. Smart, Velma. So, in conclusion, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase deserve none other than 9 awesome Scooby references out of 10. It's also awesome to note that meet their old foes such as Iron Face, the Ghoul, the Gator Ghoul, Jeepers, it's the Creeper. Awesome. Number 3, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. Wait a minute, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy fall in love? This I gotta see. So yes, the Scooby Gang's caught up into a mystery full of weird scientists, aliens, and love interests. This story had a unique plot. Twist. Great heart, fun dialogue, and hold on. Wait, are you sure? So apparently, Scooby and Shaggy's love interests turn out to be aliens? Awkward. So in conclusion, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders more than deserves a... A girlfriend and dog interest that stab you in the back and end the breakup telling you that they're aliens. Out of ten. He's fake. You see an eerie light, and if the moon is right, then we just might sight a monster. Oh, the ghost is here, it's a frightening task to face our fears and the creep in the mask. Number 2, Scooby-Doo Camp Scare, The Woodsman, The Fishman, A Creepy Spectre, Oh My, Three Monsters in the Same Scooby Movie, Wow, Enough Said, The Characters Were Fun and Multidimensional, Even The Side Characters, Luke, <laughs> Bacon, and Trudy, This Movie Provides Great Summer Laughs, Thrills, and chills. I know that sounds like I'm directly marketing this movie, but I really just couldn't come up for anything else for this movie. I'm rambling just a little bit. Don't judge me, people. It's hard to write all this stuff down. Anyway, this movie is greatly deserving a 9.5 axe-wielding maniacs out of 10. That music needs no introduction. Number one Scooby movie of all time is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Being a fan of zombie shows like The Walking Dead and multiple movies, no one would have ever thought that a Scooby movie could successfully and intentionally, intelligently ugh, make the cut for that category. Zombie Island had a brilliant plot, beautiful character development, actual situations that put the gang in actual danger, the movie also wasn't afraid to do more than a typical Scooby movie would for a child audience. Like, for example, it actually provided and frightened kids and gave them nightmares. What more could you ask from a Scooby movie? And for crying out loud, if Scooby-Doo, it's Scooby-Doo and zombies! This movie more than deserved 10 cat Creatures and zombified tourists out of ten. And you just might die of fright. It's a terrifying time. All dreams begin to roam, and the buzz is grunting groans. Crying faces full of sign. Don't you know it's never done?
So, what's your favorite Scooby movie? Was it on the list? Leave a comment below and like and subscribe for more videos like this.